In India, the world's biggest democracy, a mass protest is gaining strength despite government efforts to contain it. It's a nonviolent movement with a leader whose pacifist ideals hark back to those of the nation's founding father. Tony Guida reports. On the fifth day of his hunger strike, 74-year-old Ana Hazari was helped to his feet, raised his country's colors, and doubled down on his bet. No food until India enacts new laws against corruption. Some 20,000 supporters in the heart of New Delhi cheered. My primary goal is to fight for India and its people. I must give everything to the country. Hazari was arrested Tuesday for challenging the government's inaction on corruption. His arrest sparked outrage across India. After four days in jail, he emerged Friday to huge crowds and feverish media coverage. Hazari stopped to pay respects to India's pacifist founder, Mahatma Gandhi, before installing himself on a platform beneath a Gandhi poster. In him, we have another Mahatma Gandhi leading the country. We will not stop till corruption is rooted out of India. Hunger strikes are nothing new to Hazare. He's fasted some 15 times over 30 years for causes ranging from corruption to subsidies for farmers. His latest fast has struck a chord with India's middle class, fed up with chronic official corruption. India's prime minister says battling corruption will take time. Our hope is that we can enlist the cooperation of all thinking segments of Indian public opinion. But in a society greased by bribes to bureaucrats and officials, public opinion has never been strong enough to bring reform. Ana Hazari is trying to change that. Tony Guida, CBS News, New York.